Hello there. Let's um, have a quick look. Let's get this out of the way. Let's have a quick look at um, Studio Max and how it works with, in this particular little video, the symmetry modifier. So, we've got um, one of the preset uh, objects, which is a box. I just added a few segments on it. What I'm going to add on top of that is a modifier. We're going to go and modify and turn it and add on a edit polygon modifier. Edit polygon, okay. And I'm going to jump out of this view and jump into this view here. And with that, we're going to select some um, polygons, okay. And we're going to go and grab these guys here and hit delete. And then we're going to Alt W and Alt W again to get back into this viewport. Now let's just see where our pivot point is because how the symmetry modifier works is from the pivot point. So currently what I've done, I'll just move the pivot point slightly. Um, to do that you just go into here, I'm not trying to do a max video but just go into here and just shift it somewhere. So I'm going to shift it so it's sort of there. So that's where it's going to work on the mirror axis. It's going to be offset. So um, let me just do it even better than that. Let's um, uh, let me just explain this a bit better. Um, the symmetry modifier doesn't work on world space. The symmetry, modi mo symmetry modifier works on uh, the pivot point and where the centre of that pivot point is. So that's where it's going to go and place um, the symmetry modifier mirror plane. Okay, so what I've done, I've moved my pivot point slightly off here. Um, that should be about right. And we'll go and undo that. And we'll go over to modify stack and we'll go and add on top a symmetry modifier. To find, you can see there's quite a long list of um, modifiers you can go and add, so one of the features I've added in here to get you through this big long list is if you press um, the first letter of that modifier it will jump you down uh, to that part of the alphabet. So hit S for symmetry and down here we'll go and add a symmetry modifier. And we'll see straight away, we've got this mirror plane here which is showing in the viewport, hope you can see that. Hopefully on YouTube it's going to go and get picked up, be nice if it did. And it's facing the wrong way. So you need to go and change the orientation of this mirror plane. So it's on currently on X. Let's go and change it to Y. Okay. And what we've got at the moment, we do have it working in symmetry mode, but this the the area where the pivot point is, or the or where the uh pivot point of this object I've just set is offset it. So it's not sort of working. So one of the things you can do, um this is just to demonstrate this, you know, you wouldn't usually do this, but if you're slightly off on things um, you can actually bring it back in. So I've got this weld seam here and what we're going to do, the threshold of that is quite low, so you're just going to dial that up until it starts to join. And at some point, we hope, you just keep dialing, it will sort of join up and we'll just keep dialing up and there you go, it's just jumped to it. Okay, so just dial back a little bit until it undoes. There you go, see it joining? Okay, so that's basically that. Um, and if you now go and uh, the other thing we've got on here, we've got edit poly, so we're actually editing polygons here and they've got symmetry on top of this. So I can go and select um, some points for instance here, and I can go and uh, move those around and you can see they move uh, on the opposite side and we can undo that. Or I can go and select some polygons here, so I'm going to select that polygon there, and then scroll down here and we'll go and do a uh, extrude, okay, and we can extrude that up. Okay, and that's going to extrude on the other side. The other thing to do quickly note on extrusions and things, we can um, hopefully we're going to get something similar to this, so we can extrude groups of polygons. So I can, I can cancel that and say I want to extrude. Let's go and select uh, that guy, that guy, that guy. So we're going to select those. Actually, let's unselect that guys. Those two guys there. Go and extrude here. You can see they're going to extrude as a group. Okay. Um, if we now say OK to that and then we've got them selected and I'll go ahead that and that OK and then go back to extrude again see it doesn't quite work at the moment but we can also say by local normal and that's going to extrude them out in that fashion yeah that sort of makes more sense OK so that's local normal and then we've also got the, the, the typical light wave way where you uh, extrude by individual polygons and we've got the actual extrusion height and we've got the apply button and you can like multiply that and off you go and that's how that works. So in this short little video all we're just showing you is basically um, changing the pivot point, um, adding a symmetry modifier, offsetting it so so it sort of doesn't work on purpose and then we can like drag those points back in so they weld together again and a quick look at um, just the extrusion modifier with those sort of three options all in the one tool. 
Um, I'm hoping we we get in core, we get sort of like an extrusion and a bevel modifier together, maybe. That would be nice. Um, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it, really. Actually, um, we have got other things down here. On this one, we've got extrusion via along a spline. I mean, I'd like the extrusion along a spline, an extrusion all in one thing, and maybe add a bevel all in one jobby. That'd be nice. But we'll see. Um, I think that'll do this very short video. And we'll have a look at something else in a little bit. And that, um, that's that then, really. So thanks very much. So there you go. And catch you in a bit.